Hello everyone, what are we doing today? A super reflective romantic sunset couple silhouette. Just look at those colors. Let me show you how I did it. It's two days till Valentine's, so I am really thinking that's a good idea to make a Valentine piece. Unfortunately, once the video is posted, it probably will be after Valentine's. Nevertheless, I'm still in the mood. I'm thinking of couple in love. I'm going to do it on oval canvas. So I thought it'd be nice to have two figures close to each other here. So for now it's black. I've been looking through my old stencils because I might use my favorite woman. I'm sure lots of you have seen my autumn woman and my winter woman. They're very popular. But how about giving her someone she will fall in love with? I've looked online at various pictures and stencils and photographs and I've been trying to draw a guy. I was looking online at various handsome men and I've been trying to sketch one. I will show you what I've done. I drew around the canvas so I know where to position the elements. I sketched my lady. I have just changed her neck here. Uh, this was a mermaid and she was kind of in a different position. So I think the lady would be like this. Now I started sketching him and I'm kind of stuck on the hair element. I wonder whether to give him some curly hair, more curly or not. Or should his hair go a bit up? I don't know. Would that be nice? I can always change it. So, and I've been changing probably 10 times. Um, maybe that will do. Okay, so that's not much happening here, but I think there's some tension here between them that will be enough. So once I'm happy with this, how much shorter his neck is, but I think it has to be because he's a band and he's a guy after all. Uh, I might give her eyelashes later on. Not at the moment. I'm going to transfer this onto my frisket paper. If she had a different hairstyle, they kind of, you know, remind me of... I wonder what, what you think. What do they remind you of? I think it looks a bit like Anakin Skywalker and she looks like Padme just a bit. <laughs> I'm going to flip it over so that the lead of the pencil touches this kit. I will tape it down so it doesn't move. I haven't done any humans for quite some time. So those of you who are my new subscribers and if you haven't seen my old videos that there, there was the whole series, you can trace it just going over the lines with a pencil. You can press the lines with something like a tool. But nothing sharp so even the end of the pencil will transfer it. I personally I just use my nails <laughs> But not everybody would like that idea. Probably that's better. I'll transfer it in no time. Just like that. It's super, super easy and super quick. That's good. The facial features are the most important part. The rest is kind of irrelevant because I can change the hair anyway. But I don't want to change the facial features. I'll keep that just in case I ever want to do a couple in love, probably not, but I want to preserve the background. That's the trickiest bit. I'm actually going to cut out the figures and keep the background intact. I'll start cutting. That will take me probably, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or less. It's not going to be that interesting, so I'll come back once I'm done. So this is my space for pouring and now I'm going to cut those sections, those two sections. You could use a craft knife, I suppose, if that's easier. But I'm still going to persevere with my scissors. I've done this and this section I'm thinking might be actually easier with a craft knife. I don't need all that. I just need that section up to here. That's it. All that big chunk, but we just need this. And it's going to be much easier to stick now because it's a small section. And I'm going to press it down. Now I'm supposed to stick this one, but I wasn't sure where to position it, so that's why I aligned it, realigned it with the actual figures. I can just stick it exactly here, and it's going to be in the right place. Otherwise, I'll have to measure. I think this is the best way to do it. Just holding it down. I managed to peel it. Okay, that's the right place. That really changed everything, didn't it? Just this little bit. Okay. Now all we have is this little baby. 
you know with stencils like these i mean i'm doing just a generic one but if i was keeping this painting for myself i would use the actual real photos so you can put your own loved ones here and just have a lovely lovely view look at this it looks so nice in black doesn't it ah still haven't decided on the colors but i'm going to do something that might surprise some of you i am just going to cover this section in white you may ask why i want to swipe with several colors and if i'm going to use colors that are vibrant or or bright i don't want to see the black background i know that by now you're thinking what has she done <laughs> i messed up everything but I've got a plan in my head, you know, and I hope it's going to work. So please bear with me. Just trust me on this one. Okay, so the colours. So we'll need, if we are going to do with sunset, we need blues. We need purple, pink and orange, yellow, don't we? So let me mix some paints. I found some leftover paints that I might use. There's a little bit of blue here. There's a little bit of ultramarine with white i do have rose with white just rose on its own i've got cadmium orange and i was just mixing lemon yellow with cadmium orange to create this and deep purple i not done that before but i fancy adding iridescent medium to those colors just to see what happens whether they'll be shimmering creates metallic effect yeah why not probably won't need that much but that just adds to the small oops oh yeah that looks like pearlescent Oh, that's very interesting. Can you see the shimmer? Okay. So I suppose my yellow will be in metallic yellow. Paints are all ready, so I'll tell you what I put in them. One part of paint, one part of Floetrol. I'll show you which one I use. This is the British Floetrol. Oh, that's heavy. It's called Overtrol. As you can see, I strain it just to avoid any blobs. The third part, PVA glue and water 50-50. And I use this PVA glue or Lineco or Linaco. There's a link in the description. This is book binding archival glue. So the consistency of most of my paints, I very rarely make it a bit more runny if I'm using hairdryer. But apart from that, this is the consistency. So if I take some paint, it runs off the stick like this uninterrupted stream and a tiny build up so it's actually pretty runny i would say i don't use stick paints as i said this sunset collection time to apply the colors okay so i'm going to swipe with black and i'm going to swipe with a drop of silicone my silicone is coconut hair serum not coconut oil nothing to do with cooking it's a dimethicone product all right so the first thing i'm going to apply is a small amount of black i only want a thin layer of black here that's it because you know when you start swiping you get a raised uh, surface and i don't want the nose to be lower than the rest so that's why i'm doing what i'm doing now now you can't see anything <laughs> i can only trust that i'm kind of imagining what's underneath now drops of silicone and all the black will be with silicone. I am mixing it really well because I don't want any big cells. I want tiny ones. Before I will add the black, now I'm adding all the colors. I will start with this blue. Just checking here with the end is because I couldn't see it. Okay, the end was here. So now how am I going to apply? Um, what have I done? Yeah. so blue at the very edge just making sure i'm covering all of it i think the guy's face was somewhere <laughs> somewhere here a little bit of this blue let's give the lady a bit of blue as well turning to see the edge once i peel it off it should be all right okay so that's blue now we're going for purple and all those pinkies, pinkish hues and yellow. And then perhaps I'll go down to blues again. What do you think? That should be nice. I wanted to keep the same colors roughly at the same level. 
as you can see we have a little bit of blue in between time to apply the swiping color to the edges now fortunately i can see now where the faces are which is good news i'll just do it this way so i'm doing it to the edge so i'm doing it to the edge and i will swipe with it in a second should i apply to her as well or just to him first see this is the black with silicone and I am ready to swipe the gentleman. Now, is it possible to swipe in one go? Let me see. Do I have... Okay, is that possible? Don't think I could maneuver this way. No, it's probably better if I do it in sections because I really don't want to mess up this part. For swiping, I'm going to spray my napkin. This is just a paper towel with water clean water nothing else I want it moist and I'm swiping just like that okay and then very gently is gorgeous ah and now i'm going to swipe this section i really want to be very careful i need to start from here no 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 what have i done here what have i done because I was so worried about this black section, that's why. I'll just dip it in black again. And then this, this part is going to be black anyway, even if it's not black at the moment. I'll have to paint that bit. Oh, that's so pretty. I am hoping I'll be a bit more efficient on the ladies' part. Okay, so this is the junction, so I need to aim at roughly the same place. last section don't need much black here it's nice that we can sort of you know change and adapt here okay yeah again the same joining part that's kind of a bit problematic is that all right now i think definitely there was something with the consistency of the orange time to tidy up but i have to show you those awesome cells just look at them and some of them are multicolored. I can see some of whoa, some of these have one, two, three, four rings. Oh my goodness. Oh, so beautiful. Um just drawn to the blue ones. But I'm very, very happy. This is going to be the big moment because in the history of the channel I've never <laughs> I don't think I've ever waited overnight for the paint to dry i always peel this straight away i was so impatient but i was too tired last night I was too late now i'll tell you something it's also the first time that i'm doing it on black background so the faces will be black it's not completely dry yet in some places so i do have to be careful oh that's the hair strand isn't it okay so now i lift up this one was a very very small section that's why I was struggling okay there will be some imperfection of oh look at this one what happened here oh well done if I have some really pretty edges, I'm going to keep them for jewellery, you know? Definitely pretty sections. I don't waste anything if I can, you know? Ah, oh, there's another hair bit. 
if the background was white we would see everything clearly another pretty bit this paint here was even a bit wet so it's very easy to just scrape it off now but the background is going to be different anyway peeling this section now oh well we can even see the black on black which is good i did not expect that and the last part is this chunk and that should really reveal the faces i know what the best solution is to leave it completely dry perhaps like two days but i can't wait i'm glad i've got those white edges because i can really see the the outlines now the girl's chin Yay! Look! All right, now, massive decision. What colors do we want the background to be? Now, some of you may wonder why I did it this way. Because if the background is black, the easiest way to do a swipe with a different color will be this way. Make a swipe. Don't worry about any facial features. Just do a swipe. Then put your stencil and then spray paint your background. That would be super quick, wouldn't it? There's just one tiny difference. And also it was too late and I wasn't really, really thinking about it. But also I do want my swipe to go in a certain way. I did want the particular face. I really knew which facial features I wanted black and where I wanted the swipe to go. So I kind of wanted it more controlled. But as I said, the other one would be, I'm sure, would be very, very nice and very effective. It's completely dry and before the final stage, I actually wiped it off. You know, because of silicone residue, you should always wipe it off. You can either use isopropyl alcohol and wipe it, but you have to be super gentle and quick. If you go like twice, you may take off some color, so we don't want to do that. Or just a sponge, soapy sponge and clean it and then wipe it with some water. Just don't soak it, just, just clean it quickly. No more silicone. So now painting the background, of course I could just go very carefully with the brush, but remember what we have? We have these. So I'm actually going to stick them on and I'll quickly dub the background on like this. If you do have the background painted first, always keep the leftover paint. Why? because the pore will seep in and you have to go over certain sections. I hope that helps. As you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter uh, whether it's stuck here. All I want is just those edges around the faces. So I'm not going to do the background here. So just those bits. For the background, I was thinking and thinking. I'm going to show you my thinking process. So these were some very quick mock-ups on Procreate. Uh, to see what colors I want in the background. I eliminated these two straight away. I was pondering about light blue, but then I'll go with the kind of sun behind them. I think I like this one the most. So I'll try to make something similar. It won't be identical, but similar. I want the deepest orange around their faces. By the way, the first layer will be, obviously you can see now black, so I'll have to do it a few times. And this is obviously not the color I want. Uh, adding a bit of white will help you cover the background well. Titanium white is an opaque paint, so so you can see now why I wanted white on the figures, because white actually covers everything so well. Well, I just finished that. I'll finish it, I'll leave it to dry, and then I'll come back with another layer, not another color. I'm continuing with the light colors just around, now with a bit of blue and white, these are, again, I'll say these are the same colors that were in my pour. I'm using my pouring mixes. This is to cover the black background first. And it will be the deepest blue somewhere here. Oh, okay, I think I left a section here. So let's fix it. And I'll be adding second layer in, well, probably like half an hour. Can you imagine how quickly this could have been done if I had an airbrush. That's exactly what I need. I'm thinking, while going over those layers, I've been thinking, I need an airbrush. I know that some of you lovely people probably do have airbrushes. If you really love yours and it works really well, could you please uh, write in the comments, especially if you're from UK, but I will check all of them. 
Uh, yeah, that will be awesome. Okay, let's see if I need to do some touch-ups. So let's peel this off. Oh, yeah, but that will be in black, so that's okay. Very satisfying. Because now we'll see them really well. I realized I don't have to actually go over the black because I'm just scraping those bits of paint and it all comes off. Well, there we are. Please let me know what you thought in the comments. If you would like to see extended versions of my tutorials and more exciting content, you can check out my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and see you all next week. Bye bye!